Welcome back everyone. It's Michelle and I've got another really cool flip book. And today I'm going to be using cardstock with some of my Rosie Studio paper. You see I've got all this new paper and it's so much fun. The best part about this sizing is it's eight and a half by 11 inches, which is standard size paper. So like if you have printables and things like that, or single sided papers, it's like a three in one because you've got the cardstock, the eight and a half by 11 inch papers or um, single sided sheets. So, all right, so you can see the front, the embellishments are so pretty. I've got these gorgeous little butterflies and some of this I kind of left a little blank just for, you know, your own imaginary, like if you have photos you're doing. I've got lots of pockets in here and very standard pockets. And I have this little page pocket, which you have like an option to do more than one of these if you want. I just want to keep it fun and whoever's receiving it like on their toes, you know, and then you open it and guess what? You can add more pockets, but if you open it again, you have this. Now it's long as you can see, but if you want and like you don't need all this space, you can just add another one of these pockets on this side. So it's a really fun interactive flip book and it's a wonderful size. And if you're just using eight and a half by 11 inch printables, then that's awesome too and it's probably a little quicker but i like the durability that this cardstock is giving my album so i did make this pretty thick which if you're doing flat mail which i have all these things it's definitely great flat mail it's just i have it really thick as you can see it won't even like close but i just wanted to kind of show you how much it will fit so what we will do is i'm going to start off with three eight and a half by 11 inches 11 inch sorry papers cardstock so i've got three of them right here which i'm choosing these beautiful vibrant colors because we want spring we are over the winter right <laughs> someone made a video and they said who is dreading winter i am not i mean summer and i am not that person so okay let's grab the first sheet of our eight and a half cardstock eight and a half by eleven cardstock and this is pretty simple so this measurement you're going to either you can just like fold it in half or you can score it at the five and a half inch mark so I'm gonna go ahead and score mine just to keep it clean and that's just gonna give you that perfect centered cardstock Okay, and make sure it's really, you know, on there because we want this album to flip and give us no problems. All right, so the next two sheets, they're actually going to be scored exactly the same. And it doesn't really matter which side because the cardstock is blank. So we're gonna score it at half an inch and five and three quarters of an inch at the eight and a half inch score. So let me get this, this is gonna be a half an inch and five and three fourths of an inch. Now this side, believe it or not, is gonna be shorter than that side by just a smudge because I wanted this album to really work and it was hard to get it even. But you're not gonna really notice it because by the time you stuff it, look, it looks almost the same size, but it's actually not. Like this side's actually just a tiny bit shorter and you can tell by our measurements. So I'm just gonna do the same score again. And this is a great size too. So again, half an inch by five and three quarters of an inch. I know a lot of my viewers always want larger size things, so this is a great large size. I tend to like mini because I feel like you get more out of your paper and things like that. And I try to savor my paper, so I, I don't do a lot of large projects because I will run out of it quick. Like, I used a lot of paper for these projects. All right, so now let's go ahead and figure out what I did, right? <laughs> so let's take this, which is right here, and this may be, like, a little backwards how I did this. So I should have probably done that score and that score because we're using this to bind the album. So I am going to just, you just can fold your little scores here. And again, really make sure everything is nice and crisp because this is a pretty flippy album and you don't wanna 
mess around with the pages. So it should be these two scores. All right, so okay, I wanted that to stand, but it's kind of getting in my way. So this side right here is going to go down onto here. And that's how we're gonna get that little pocket right there. So we're gonna just glue it down on here. Now, if you want your pocket like, you see how mine is plain. If you want it to have a paper look, like you don't like the plain cardstock, then put your paper on, like put your papers on before you glue this down so you can cut it with that paper. So you know what I mean? Like I don't want you guys to forget about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down or you can tape it. And put it on there. And just make sure everything folds nice. Like I have this, I, I bring this up a little bit so I can make sure it's folding okay. Oops, I just put that down. Okay, so mine is right here and it's good to go. So, I mean, there's so many ways you can do this. And you see what I mean by like a little shorter? So it ends up being like that. But if you want, you could even leave it like this and just do it that way. But I'm gonna make mine my pocket. So obviously the next side, we're basically doing the same exact thing, except we're leaving it. So I have my little score here and we're gonna fold that. So you see how this is a really easy album. It just looks all crazy, but all it is is three sheets of the eight and a half by 11 inch paper and that's it. And you can, it, the album just looks so much bigger when you just kind of leave it. So here, so let me, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and put this on just so I don't confuse anyone. And you know what I'm supposed to do is actually, this blue is actually supposed to be my pocket. I kind of messed up because I wanted it to contrast. Now it's going to be all funky. I always have it played out in my head before. And then it always goes a different way when I'm filming. Too funny. I'm sure a lot of people do that when they're doing their YouTube videos. I feel like my paper is a little smudge higher than this, but. It must have been the way I folded my paper. It is a smudge higher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim that. Okay. What I did, I must've folded it wrong. I might actually just do this. Nope, I'm gonna have to fix that. So hold on, let me go across here and just fix it the right way so it doesn't look weird. Actually, my paper trimmer is really needs a new blade and I just haven't had time to go to the store. So it cut really funky. Okay, so there we go. So you can have it flip out, go this, that, but I did not do that. I obviously have this side as a pocket. So this side is very simple. All we're doing is cutting down into it. You can do curvy, you can do straight. I mean, you could just leave it like a top pocket, but I'm gonna cut into mine. And none of my pockets are gonna ever look the same. Sometimes I go lower, sometimes I go higher. And it's just like that. So you have that little pocket right here. And then of course you just glue it down. Now, if you want the back cover, then make a little back cover. But I did not, I just left it. Cause the cardstock is just so pretty. Why do I wanna just cover it up? You know what I mean? and very durable. So there's that pocket and then this is gonna be our flip out. So really we're just like adding to this and I'm just gonna give you the measurements to all of this. All right, let's start. Now I've gotta give you the measurements to this because there are two different sizes because one of the lengths is short. So we're going to have three, five and a quarter by eight and a quarter pages. 
And we're also going, I want to tell you this now so you can kind of sort it out. And then the next set is going to be five by eight and a quarter. So I just shaved off like a quarter inch on the pages that are a little smaller. So I'm going to kind of start off with this and show you where these pages go first. So the larger ones kind of go in the front. So I'm going to put this one up here. And you see my, my edges to my paper, how jagged they are. I couldn't believe it. I looked in my drawer and I was like, wow, I have no um, lace. <laughs> so here we go. Of course, if you want to add a ribbon or a closure, do that before you go ahead and put this down. So there's that first one, right? And then obviously it's going to be the same size, so it's going to go on this page here. So that first page, and then it's going to go on, it's not going to be on this page because this page is shorter. It's going to actually be, well, let me put this down a little bit. This is so, this album is so long, it's kind of hard to show it all. So obviously this is the pocket. Oh, fix that. <laughs> this page is shorter, so it's not that one. It's not this one. It's going to be right here. So it's going to kind of be like smack in the middle. So see, I really didn't mean to do it. So these, I wanted these pages to be the same color. So it didn't look weird when I did this. So it's going to be this page right here. And then basically the other measurement is going to go on the rest of the pages. So very simple, right? And it just, this album is just going to be so pretty. I mean, that's what I hope by the end of this video. <laughs> Sometimes I just like hold my breath. I never know. I know it may look like a lot of people say, oh, you make it look so easy. Well, I mess up a lot, as you guys see, and I've had to film things before sometimes even three times not recently but I have in the past for sure especially when I was starting so okay now we've got the first in the back so now we're going to go ahead and dig into this pile here and this is the five by eight and a quarter which is the shorter one so obviously there's five pages here so you really want to kind of like play with it and see where it's going to go I liked how these two were kind of together. So you kind of just want to like really look and see how these pages are going to fit. Like I don't want two blues next to each other. I mean, that is pretty, but I want it to be really colorful and just like fun. So I actually like the orange in there. What did I do here? Okay, so there's gonna be a pocket there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do these. And there's gonna be a pocket here. Wow, I really did glue this on wonky. I'm looking at the bottom of my edges here and they are a little uneven here. Okay, and then this again is just plain. And then let me just see inside. Before I decide this, which I do like that because you open the flip and you see it, I guess this can go here and this can go here. Yeah, I'll do that. So I'm gonna go with this. And so the back, the very back page, I don't have a panel. So if that bothers you, just do another one of these things. But what I mean by that is that very, very back one right there. Why do I feel like, why do I have an extra one here? I didn't put it in the back, did I? No. Hmm. Maybe I just accidentally cut an extra one. So I actually have an extra one. I think I'm going to use the flower one. 
So maybe this, no, because that's too pink. So maybe flower, flower, plaid. So it's actually super cloudy here and rainy and I got a light in my room to film on cloudy days, but I don't know how people work with these lights. I, I really don't. They like, it's not even directly in my face and I can feel it burning my eyes. <laughs> It, is, it can't be healthy. So people who are on like Instagram and TikTok and YouTube all day streaming, like you, I just can't see how you're going to be able to see in like 10 years. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. So there's this and putting that right there. So, I mean, it already looks so pretty. Oh, Duh, that's why. I was like, oh, I have an extra one. No, you don't, Michelle. You actually have <laughs> another page to cover. So there's that one. Sorry about that, guys. Just another blooper. And it's on the blue that I didn't want it to be on. Actually, I do like it, though. It's kind of like got the sea foam thing going on. All right, so now let's do the pockets right here. So I'm going to open it. Just close. I'm just doing it that way. So you guys aren't confused, like just kind of doing it all together. So the pocket, and there's going to be two of these. So the pockets are just going to be five and a quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And we're going to just score it at a, a quarter inch, three times around. So you're going to do this side, this side, and then the bottom piece. So two, Two, um, two shorts, one long. Okay, I cut three of them out because I wanted to see. So I think I'm gonna use this one for here. You only need two, but I cut out three just because I wasn't sure what the patterns was gonna look like. I'm trying to figure out which direction the pocket goes in. So again, just a quarter, three times around. Oh yeah, and the light I got, it's not even like a bad light. It's supposed to be the most softest light you can really buy. So I can't even imagine people who are using the LEDs. They will really burn your eyeballs out. All right, so there's that. And I mean, you don't even have to do this. You could literally just cut this and make it a small size because you really don't have a lot of wiggle room in here. But this is kind of thick, so I wanted you guys to have a little, little bit of wiggle room in your pockets, and that's why I did that. I had considered just making them flat. So I was inspired, this element was inspired by one of my older Rosie Studio projects, which I will show you in a second. If you guys remember from last year, this one. And if you're new, oh my goodness, do this one. And But this one has a lot of flat projects, you see? And it was a flippy. But this flippy here has more things going on, and it's a bigger. So you can see the size difference and the pocket difference. It gives you a lot more space. All right, so there's that one. And where's the next one? The next one should be right here. So, this, so if you're opening your album, just so you can see, it would be this one. I feel like I am babbling a lot today, so sorry about that, you guys. Haven't filmed in a couple days, gotta get it out. So again, I'm just doing the quarter inch three times around. And then, I'm sorry, if you're a newbie, I just cut off those little squares on the bottom. I didn't even say that. I just assumed everybody knows what I'm doing. And then you'll just fold these back. Honestly, and it took a lot of my my little die cuts too because this this album is pretty big. <laughs> I mean, it's not you know huge like a big junk journal, but it is a lot to decorate if you're doing a larger album. It's more space. It's more like empty canvas. You know what I mean? 
So there is this one here. And that should be our last like assemble before we just go ahead and put this thing together, which is gonna be my favorite part. Okay, so here we go. This is our blank canvas here. So of course I use my gorgeous little butterflies here, my little rosy butterflies, and I hate to use them all. Actually, before I had them in a row like that, but there's pink there, so I don't want to take away from that. So I just kind of went like this and just kind of did it like every other. Just kind of back and forth. And they're pretty forgiving if you need to move it around. You're not gonna like tear your paper off or anything. And I mean, that fixes that. So you have this really pretty album and you didn't really have to do much except put on these gorgeous butterflies and it makes such a pretty cover. Then you're gonna open it and if you have a photo, like it's, you know, like a photo mat type thing. So, they gave me so many dies. I didn't even know which one to use. I didn't know which one to to save, which one to use. Because I obviously have other projects in mind. So let me just kind of dump this. I'm going to do a little dump here and figure out what I'm going to do here. I actually like this for that page. So this is probably going to be a little different. And just FYI, I'm going to adhere all these on with these, the double-sided foam tape. So I do want to make this a little bit different than my original album because I always like to see how it's going to look with the whole collection, not just identical. I like to just switch it up so you guys get ideas too. Oh, I like that butterfly. That's cute. Maybe something like that. And I love these puffy stickers. These I really want to savor, but I'm like, no, 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 you have to use that. No, nope, I think I might just leave it. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. And here I can just put on some pretty dyes which this is a pretty busy already. So I'm trying to see what wording. You can kind of do this. So if you have the wording and you don't know how it's going to fit, you can just run your little sticker thing over it. And I have glue all over my hands. So my little guy's on a trip and they're doing the cutest thing. I guess, gosh, you know, they really prepare these kids. He's doing like, I, I don't know if you guys have it in your area, but they, they build this place and it's like pretend jobs. So like his job will be the Delta CMO and they actually look like little places, like little banks, a little Publix, um, like a little... AT&T, whatever, you know, and it's just so cute. Like, why didn't they do that with us when we were little? <laughs> we had a big shock. And since we're on that topic, what were you, what was your first job? My first job was Walgreens in the cosmetics department. And it was fun because my friends, we all kind of worked there, but it wasn't fun in the end. Because <laughs> people are crazy for their coupons there, I'll tell you that. And there's a lot of theft too. Like, oh my goodness, people would come and do crazy things. Like, um, here's the pocket here. Yeah, I'm just going to borrow some of this stuff so we can kind of see it as we go along. Like, I know baby formula is expensive and stuff. I mean, nowadays they have a lot of programs and things, but I don't know if they did then, but people would come and, like, return baby formula after they stole it and crazy things like that. Like, things I never even imagined as a, like, 
17 16 year old girl <laughs> working at a cashier like I just didn't I didn't comprehend in my head why someone would have to do that all right let me see and then also the cosmetics would be gone there would always be like lots of missing cosmetics and stuff so basically my aisle would be a mess all the time <laughs> So that's what made it not fun. So here I'm just, you know, adding some pretty flowers along the edge. I'm just kind of building it up and seeing what it looks like. I feel like this is going to go over here. I can find one. Where did I get that lettering from? There's another pack here. But I've, so I've got the words and I've got the other pieces. I don't think I got it in this one. Oh, that's a sticker. Well, that's why. I'm just gonna do the flowers though. I'm trying to find a larger one. Oh, here we go. There's that other one. Hmm. I don't really wanna cover this, but... Sorry, this part I have to take a little bit of time because I don't really plan this part too much. I kind of like the butterfly, just wish it wasn't pink on pink. But I think I'm gonna add it. So we can just move to the next. So just kind of like that. I might even change it this way. So I like it just because it's like, ha, huh, and this gives it some, you could also put a little border or whatever you want here. Actually, I'm glad I didn't use this thicker one because this pocket is looking so plain here. I think I'm gonna put move it up so you can see my old pocket it was pretty busy and I just put this little thing here but for this one it's not busy so you have a lot of wiggle room and I kind of like it just like that and you could even put the little wording here too since you have a little bit of space I'm trying to see here I've got some stickers too, so maybe something like this. Sorry, it's a little shiny with that light, but and then we've got these on the top if you want to put something here just to break it up a little bit like that. And then you open it. And again, I have like another type of photo mat thing. You can use project cards or put your photo. Or here's like a little library card thing. And I think this is so sweet. I like that it's the size of a project card too. I'm just going to lay that down here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to cover the camera. Just trying to get it so you guys can see it better. I'm just gonna plop that in the middle here. And then here, you can see I just decorated with flowers before, but I'm going to actually just try to find something fun just to stick on there. I'm just gonna mix these together because I have so many and I keep going into two different piles. And this is very busy. Wow, I didn't realize how long I was recording. So I'm gonna close this and let me just open this up. Okay, and here I have the little vellum pocket and I've got just these simple dies. So the vellum pocket is going to be two and a half by eight and a quarter inches. And I did use the glitter tape. So I just took my red line tape. This is called red line tape. I have a lot of uh, newbies ask me what this is. And it's double-sided tape. And I always forget to link it. That's why I'm telling you now. <laughs> and I can just put that on there. This is just my trick. 
And I think it's on a little crooked, but it's okay. It's very forgiving. And then I'm going to just take that strip off. And add some glitter. Loose glitter, that's all this is. And I'm just going to dab in the pieces that I'm missing. Hold on, I'm just going to wipe that off so it doesn't fly all over me like it did earlier. So it's going to look like that. That's going to give you that really pretty, like, whimsical pocket. And I'm going to smack that on there. So I'm just going to glue that down. And the last page is just going to be some decor. I really hope my video doesn't shut off because I had so much space. I had to get my new thing repaired. I just got it because there was something, I don't know if you guys remember, there's something wrong with the microphone. So I'm back to my old one. And there I'm just putting a pretty... Thing, and I even like this little lettering here but let me know what you guys thought about this album get some good use of our cardstock and our single sided paper or our eight and a half by 11 inch papers so I'm just going to borrow some of that and pop that in but this album is really really fun so I mean here we go we've got this and my desk is a mess so I hope you can see this We've got our pretty pockets. We've got this here. Again, if you want to add or take away, if you want to do the same thing this side, if you don't need this much, you know, do the same thing on this side so you don't have this huge album if you're not looking for that. But this is the album, and I had so much fun using my Rosie collection. It is so pretty, and it's very inspiring, as you can see, because all my pieces are just all over the place. All right, guys, thank you so much and hope you enjoy this one.